Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence, so viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, everyone. We met a lot of characters last time, like Inspector Cabanella, Pleak Lee, who's the guardian of the park, <laughs> yeah. uh, Phoenix yeah. Rawl, and Winston Wayne. So... We're continuing today. We are on chapter five, I believe. Chapter four. Chapter four. Chapter four. Eight, it's 8.23. PM. Question. Yes. Do, does morning come in this game at like 12 a.m.? No. It no. comes at it like comes five at like or six a.m. Or six a.m. Okay. So we have a lot of time. We're good. Right. So I was like, technically that's considered morning, but... <laughs> Dawn is when it happens. Oh, like Majora's Mask. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. Nobody's dead! Why are you there? No, Lynn! Hang in there, baby! It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, I can't allow that, Pigeon Man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each other to his own profession, shall we? Yeah? Well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. Why does he have a pigeon in his hair? I just realized that. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was his hair. Nope. That's a <laughs> pigeon. New info has been added. Yeah, shaking hair is really going to wake her up. Is he just going to walk to his death? <laughs> the pigeon had the key in its mouth. He's or gonna, now under. He's going to walk to his death. Those are stairs. Oh! I thought that was a pit. I was like, what is happening? <gasps> That's a way to go downstairs. Well, oh, remember this? Like <laughs> it's Blue it's Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. Trick time. I have a quick question. Yeah. Where did, how did you discover this game? Like, how, where did uh, you Link, find it? Link gave it to me for Christmas. I had never did heard of it Did he just, like, randomly pick it up? I don't know. He knew okay. it was made by the guys who did Link Ace Attorney. Link has a tendency to just randomly find epic games and be like, here, I got this for you for Christmas. And you're like, I don't know, okay. We had that with so many things. I had that with Super Mario Strikers. We had that with Chibi-Robo, Billy Hatcher. Yo-Kai Watch. Like, yeah, there's I forgot so many. You got Yo-Kai Watch. That game's so fun. We're gonna... Boom! <laughs> that did nothing. They okay. have better fiends to pay attention to. Swivel. <laughs> oh, they're talking. Wait, oh, they're, they're talking. How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She's not breathing. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, he's, I basically gave him a snuffy voice. Afraid I'm not a miracle worker. Only thing we can do is curse the aim of the one who shot her. Lynn, how could I let this happen to you? Okay, well, turn it back on. Maybe give some light to the situation. <laughs> Allow me to share some light upon the subject. Ooh, let's examine it. What's up with this blinding pink, pink notebook? Somebody stuck it in behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. Oh, well, okay, that was that was useless. Bag, bomb, a motor, what? Oh, we're in the basement. But we can't go anywhere. I didn't think we could do that. Oh! We can talk! I forgot about that! Well, maybe we can talk. Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? Uh... She's coming too? Thanks for voicing her. No, no, no. If it's a void of this ghost, then I voice it. Fine. What happened to me? Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead. So I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I Darn am. Darn it! <laughs> She's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? 
Pretty cute pre name! Pretty cute name. <laughs> and apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Yeah. Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yeah, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! Something really unusual is going down in this town <laughs> oh, tonight! Oh, they must have swapped <laughs> bodies or something weird. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It would be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There we go. <laughs> there, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? <laughs> I just sit back, sprite cracks me up every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Ugh, everything's so confusing! Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. Uh, the death! So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year. What, does she know how to drive now? Or was it like her- <laughs> Probably the detective test. Oh. <laughs> or the well, I've never heard anybody talking about like, Ooh, I hope I passed the detective how test. How many people do you know who want to become detectives? Like one. And they're nowhere near there. My exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shock is setting in. And so I told her everything that happened tonight, about ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? Yeah, I think I do remember something like that happening... vaguely. Yeah, I got shot! By a blue man dressed all in black! I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. Also, this is Lynn's theme. Okay. I'm, I'm looking for the answers to the questions, who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name's Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell, anyway. I think I was killed tonight, while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now! I knew it! I knew you were the lead I needed! But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. W why not? Because I don't know you. W what do you mean? I thought you said you remembered me! No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. No way! Two strangers. Why do we meet in the junkyard, yo? So you don't know me, huh? Nope. Wish I did. So you do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was an accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you guess- or can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. Y you mean- Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was going to ask you. Why'd you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me! Goes without saying that I don't remember. Gah, everything's so confusing! Can't you do something? Mmm. Lynn, 
I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try to find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who am I, who I am, and why I was killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now, but I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that's very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. But I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something very important tonight. I think that maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all of that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago that you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. But thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? I mean, we have no other options, so... Whoosh! Away we go! <sighs> Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Yay. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Sure. Four minutes before death, the super's office. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir! <gasps> Detective, is everything okay? Uh, uh... I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me! Is chicken alright? <laughs> One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay! <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore! I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella's on his way. He'll be here any minute. S did somebody say, Inspector Cabanella? <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> evening, patrol man! <laughs> Good evening, Inspector Capanella, sir. Nice work. Now, do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir! <laughs> Is he wearing, like, butter on his shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Capanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigation Unit had an important top-secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this, when my Lynn's in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute, did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected! Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before! Hmm, never, baby? Well, I, uh, before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him there. He said he had important information on the big case I was working on. He's the one who contacted me! I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. <laughs> So let's talk! No, I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Oh boy. Well, guess what happened? 
Inspector Cavanel, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Get down! Seems to me that Baby is indeed under uh, suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that! Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that! Anyway, it looks like the Hitman fired from outside. It's hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Cool. Whoosh! This is where the saving people's lives gets complicated. Trick time! You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and shoot the guy- or <laughs> shoot, shoot the guy who's shooting the bullet? <laughs> wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's just shoot him. <laughs> you can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say, about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you're prob you'll probably be safe. <laughs> but the telephone thing is a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. I thought we were going to use the book. I have a bad feeling about everything. Yes, sir! <laughs> yeah, sometimes if you click the dialogue, it'll advance the time. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry! <laughs> what? Don't be hungry! <laughs> <laughs> you should leave jobs like that to me! Is chicken alright? I wish he'd change the thing where it's like chicken, beef. <laughs> Oh, ghost. Dead as a doorknob. Dead as a <laughs> doorknob. Yep, that's happening. <laughs> One chicken. No! I wanted to get the <laughs> note! <laughs> what? I just had to say one chicken dinner, though. <laughs> oh, man. I'd like to go back to the station. Oh, sorry. Um, nope, no can do. Maybe if I move this again. <laughs> examine. Photos. Oh, no. Wait, I want to. <laughs> Is that a sponge? These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I've lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. I was only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch. This lady's tongue can be sharp. Uh, I can't hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I have to move this again and see if it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see anything. I think I think you've already screwed up. <laughs> That's fine. I already know you didn't, that. You I didn't just wanted see you was on the telephone. <laughs> yeah. I just want to examine things real quick. What could this be? It looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? <sighs> Why did you have to ask me? Couldn't you just see I was the one looking away evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things that the scientists use. Ordinary people like us don't know what it is! I don't have to know what it is. It's a I, telescope. I don't remember what science is. But it's apparently something Lynn doesn't like very much. Yeah, I don't like it either. Um, I'm just gonna, like, move I thought again. you were Emma Sky, though. No, that's me when I was in chemistry class. <laughs> not me normally. Do, 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 I'm not science-y. <laughs> this is so weird about dialogue. Inspector Common is on his way. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just, yeah. I already know I'm going to have to rewind time, so I'm just going around control, to learn man. as much as I can. Oh, good evening, Inspector Cavanaugh, sir. Nice work. Your voice went like two octaves deeper than it usually did. That's a nice <laughs> fellow. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that means just gonna be high. I'm falling karma. <laughs> One chicken dinner. <laughs> it's fine. We don't need this. The special investigation unit. What's that mean? <laughs> I what, appreciate. What does that matter when my baby's in crisis? 
Wow, this is a long dialogue scene. This is a stupid It's like, Cecil, dialogue. you know you can move around, right? No, I'm listening. Motor. Motor and... What's your price for life? Oh, I know, yeah. It's good. Oh, you can just reach over that far. Never mind. Swivel. Wait, use the phone. But I didn't want to use the phone. I, I just said trick. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal! Yeah, I, I just rewind time. I think you've examined everything you can. But I want to- I want to see what happens. <laughs> I should have hit him in the face! <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, baby. <laughs> No, I already know I needed to rewind time. I was just like, I wanted to see as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I thought, okay, I didn't realize you could actually just jump straight to the lamp. I thought you had to wait for Lynn to carry the notebook a decent ways before doing anything. Okay, I'm so, dead. Let's go it. towards the telephone. Maybe you do? Oh no, you ha yeah, you have to wait for her to drop the notebook in the behind the... <laughs> do I have to? Do I have to? No, no, I don't. no, you don't. It. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry for hiding the book and stuff. Chicken. I have to jump. Go on to the phone. Now it's working? Hello, the chicken kitchen! You want chicken? We got your chicken! Also, his nose is a chicken. One chicken dinner, please. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Who gets chicken with a side no of chicken? chicken. <laughs> go there or stay here. <laughs> I mean, I just want to go there anyway. <laughs> please do. This guy's great. I mean, I know she's gonna die. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> we can go and rewind. Let's back. go to Chick Fil A. <laughs> yeah, Chick Fil A is amazing. Hello, where would you like that delivered? They hung up. Trace complete. Cool. You got a new phone number. The Chicken Kitchen. La 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 la, what does it matter, a chicken order or two last? Yeah, this is weird. If it were free orders, that would be a different story though, la la la. Yeah, I like his nose. <laughs> okay. Meme, da da da. <laughs> Trick, Trick time. Okay, we've got a telephone book. <laughs> I love the groovy got the music the menu board. Here. The bell. Oh, ring the bell. <laughs> We just popped over here while we had the chance without much thought. But this isn't where the hitman who's trying to kill me is. <laughs> you don't know that! <laughs> Clearly. We probably ought to hurry back. <laughs> Time is passing. <laughs> Time is passing. <laughs> hmm, that's funny. <laughs> What's can't, the matter? <laughs> can't use the phone at the chicken kitchen. <laughs> we came here. Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can only use the lines while the telephone is being used to make a call. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, we can't go anywhere. I guess we'll have to start over. No, we won't. Yeah, we will. <laughs> He's not going to go back over. We're going to ring the bell. And make him use the phone. <laughs> bring, bring. That <laughs> we were on the last five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we went like the pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Trick time! This time let's not go to Chick fil A. <laughs> Which normally goes against my moral principles not going to Chick fil A when you yeah. can go to Chick fil A, but. Maybe I should move this again. No. Waiting around for no reason except to wait for chicken. Jeez. Yes, sir! <laughs> Howdy. Don't do that! <laughs> Sorry. 
I'm sorry. The chicken, the gog. The chicken, the gog. <laughs> this should be the Chick fil A theme song. <laughs> <laughs> We're going someplace. Else. Hello, the chicken kitchen. One chicken dinner, please. Or would you like an order of fried chicken with that? <laughs> Nobody wants chicken with. Ch oh man, I'd like your chicken. Uh, let's say stay here. Trick time. Trick. Oh. No sense in going over to the restaurant now. Right. Can't eat chicken if I'm dead. That's not what I was talking about. The place we need to be now is outside in the junkyard where the hitman lurks. I just realized we're gonna have chicken for dinner. Yeah. Mmm, chicken. <laughs> and the only way to get there is to use the telephone lines. So, check it. Oh, come on! Okay, maybe there's more stuff we can do in here. I actually forget how to do this. Uh, try, try swiveling the lamp. Swivel, swivel, swivel. No! Swivel. Wait, this is new. They ordered me here to stand guard over this rookie detective, Lynn. Now that I'm really looking at her, she sure is cute. They told me to call the detective outside if she did anything suspicious. So here I stand. Hey, maybe I need to call the detective outside after all. She's so <laughs> beautiful, it's criminal. Cool. Oh, oh, <laughs> thought bubble, definitely. Say, did you hear what the officer just said? Yeah. Strange taste that fellow has. His taste is perfectly normal! Mm, but anyway, not that part. <coughs> the part about the order he got. The order to deliver- the order to the telephone outside if I did anything suspicious. Also, he blatantly said, she sure is cute, right out loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> telephone, huh? I was acting really suspicious a few minutes ago, but he didn't call. He should have been more observant. So if the police officer sees anything suspicious, this state of affairs might change. Uh-huh. Time to turn on the lamp. Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. What the bop? I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. <laughs> nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I'd better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. <laughs> Very noticeable. Trick time. Um, Go to the telephone. To eavesdrop on conversations. So I'll over the phone. What's up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to, and I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner, and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Um, let's see. It's pink, and it's a notebook. Anything else? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in, too, and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let, uh, let on any... <laughs> don't let on you noticed anything. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird sentence. Weak. Hey, look at that! The phone line's blowing red! I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is, too. Go there. We can just hear <laughs> <We'll> stay. <laughs> and then we could hear about more chicken. I just realized this game would suck if everyone used cell phones. No phone lines. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Uh, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, gross. <laughs> I, just I was I was going to say eek and then I accidentally was just like Ew. Yeah. <laughs> A desk lamp? That sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray. You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. And then, about that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level a scant few minutes from now. Way up The there. hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. 
it's probably the doctor who walked up there and went boom bam and then was like oh i hate big bird <laughs> let me wait for like two minutes and then i'll come walking in except right. no hang on because but he's still examining my body he didn't even get called to the office until min was already dead before that he was using his stethoscope he has a stunt double <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young lady, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason, but only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair! Anyway, we don't have much time. <laughs> As you check time. <laughs> Come on and hop in. Hop yeah, in see? Where? Weird blue Owen Wilson detective oh, is still yeah. there. <laughs> Carry on, boys! Fate changed. Okay. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, we can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go, then. I'm not really big on the idea of getting shot again. <laughs> Inspector Cabanella just has the best movement Traffic animations cone. ever. Traffic, Traffic sign. sign. Door. Sissel. <sighs> Thanks for the lift, Ray. The folding cat. Oh. I mean, folding cot. <laughs> oh, I thought that did say folding cat. I'm like, they made that wrong. Nobody, <laughs> Nobody noticed. That. Nothing as suspicious is happening here. Oh, Marty, remember this puzzle that you had to try like five times? <laughs> You just turn on the fan and turn on the blender and then possess the flag. It's really that easy. That one. <laughs> He's doing the dance. <laughs> Ooh. Turn the search light off. Well, we made it! Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take his shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him fast. I'm going to make... I'm going to make good and make sure he understands. I'm going to make good and sure he understands. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm going to make it good. And I'm like, what is this? <laughs> what happens to people who point guns at others? There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. <laughs> time is out. Oh, wait. I, I know what I'm going to do. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? I wanted um, Inspector Cabanel to walk up there and he like he goes like, Psh! and then like the, the spotlight goes out and he's like, <laughs> uh, I wait, can't do anything. Well, let's wait it out a little bit. Get ready to ghost. <laughs> now I'm gonna ghost. Okay. <laughs> Wee! Thanks for the- Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> You're styling! Oh, definitely- Oh man! Open the truck while he's there! <gasps> I see my target. Time to oh, go to work. Oh, it's that guy. I'll be head of the Hitman division by next month now, for sure. There he is! The horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tengo, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting. Fast. The windfall. Wait, can I open it? Yeah, knock over his bike. Or don't. That's right, it's still a 3D space, even though it's 2D. On. <laughs> there, we put a stop to that shot at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. That hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is going to really stop him. If you want to rough him up a bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Fate changed. Oh, now we have more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like, um... Is there a Studio Ghibli movie where they ride a bicycle on a telephone wire? <laughs> no, but there is, um, in uh, the Cirque show. Oh. Lanuba. The, the very first act, they have like all these things happening. And oh, then oh, no. a guy <laughs> never mind. No. His bike I'm thinking down. of The Office. 
mind. <laughs> That's very different, sir. I, th I, I was getting the office and Kiki's delivery service mixed up for a second there. <laughs> what two things do they have in common? A guy riding a bicycle in a weird way. <laughs> oh yeah, Kiki, they do ride a bicycle in a weird way. Where did, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he come from? Where'd he go? Where'd he come from? Um, Shoot that guy! Why can't he see that? But because where Tengo is is oh, way far perception. back. If I want that position, I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. Division head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be... If I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty scandalous rumors about him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, maybe we can't this do anything like, with the bicycle. Yeah, this is basically like... Oh, let's murder. ride, let's hijack Cabanella's bicycle. Yeah. But like, looking at the scene... Oh, no, we can't! This is basically like what my vision looks like when I'm not wearing glasses. <laughs> everything's, everything's red? Flat. No, everything's flat. Like, oh. So I like looked at that, I'm like, oh, dude, like he's about to like shoot this guy, when in reality he could be like 20 feet back. Right. Um, I don't know where to move. I don't remember what to do here either. Let's go back up to the uh, uh, <laughs> Tombo's bicycle on the, the, uh, oh, the Tombo. wire. Oh, Tombo! Tombo! Hey, Gonzo! Oh, let's turn this No, off. no, no, don't! He'll come back then. Everybody move and pedal and pedal and nothing's happening. <laughs> Why would anything work? Time is passing. Maybe the weird officer down there did something. Maybe we have to like open the trunk when he walks back. And then they're like, holy oh, yeah. zoinks. Holy zoinks, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> like a zoink scoop. Okay, we got a ghost. No wait. <gasps> oh, his baton, his baton. Booyah. Nightstick. Or nightstick. Baton is another word. Walk. <laughs> Bobby stick. Oh, he's talking. To himself. Hmm, he's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Oh. <laughs> Shoot! <laughs> hey, did you turn that flashing light on? Wasn't me. Oh, a different guy. It wasn't, what, me. wasn't me. It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. <laughs> well, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Yeah, the thing's gone dead tight. It's pretty sad. <laughs> this is like a male Roz. <laughs> I was asking. Like that. <laughs> They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these characters are just going to give the weirdest possible voice to. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, partner. I'm glad these guys are just pacing There's back that? and forth for us. Yeah. Oh, hey! It's it's the thing that we used to knock the rifle out of the guy's hands the first time. I don't know where to go. I have to go all the way down there. Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? You can also you move the camera. Oh, he's back there again. One, oh, searchlight up there. Two, three. Oh! I can't do that! <laughs> Oh, look at that! One of the lights went out! There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't have all three on of them on at once. Our station's crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing on the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp! Wow, it's like those, um, what was that? Flashlight that we had in case... Yeah, yeah, the crank one. The, the crank one where it's like... And then, like, yep, yep. it shines a light. I a like very that. sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. So now he's probably going to go back to the first searchlight. So let's find the third searchlight and turn that off. Oh, oh what does the lever do? I'll examine it. Huh, nothing happens. That's funny. I thought this lever was for swinging the crane arm around. I'd like to see that horrible hitman around. Or swing, swing the horrible hitman around. Hmm, <laughs> this crane. I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. I'm gonna use this to bring everybody back. No need. Mr. Hitman! Mr. Hitman! And you can wear the crown! That one. Gold streak. 
phantom detective. Duh! <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> Watch, he's gonna shoot as soon as we... No! We, we haven't gotten to the last five seconds yet. Time's passing. Time's passing. Time's passing. Oh, they're off sync now, so... <laughs> No, nope, nope. Why not? Or uh, yeah, you, I guess you could turn that on. I'm just, I'm worried that might just... speed Actually, up time. I uh, know that'll call the other guy over. So yeah, you can do that. That also confused the guy. <laughs> hey, I told you to lay off that feed, and I told you it wasn't me. <laughs> uh oh, I think I might know what's going on here. This is the work of, you know. Hey, what hey, shut up! You're creeping me out! <laughs> but you know as well as I do, the only explanation for mischief like this is Inspector Cabanella! So they tell tales about him as though he's a ghost, eh? But Ex Inspector Cabanella is a really is a really very nice person. Oh, get on that guy's uh bobby stick or whatever you call it. <laughs> yeah. Flip. Flippity dipper. He didn't care. <laughs> He's like, nothing weird is happening here. <laughs> Turn on that spotlight so the guy can't come back. Okay, I think that's where we need him to be. Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target. But I can't work under the spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Sizzle, get him! Hold up! When did I become her assistant? Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Granted, it's a long three seconds, but... Shut that trunk. Shut the trunk. Yeah, it's not like three, two, one. It's like three, two. It's like the smash. Should I just, like, go for that? Make it go off? No, don't make it go off. There's gotta be something we can do. Uh, go up to the searchlight, but stay in the ghost world. Like there? Uh, there's a way to activate the lever. I know it. Uh, possess the guy on the left's bobby stick when he gets close. Okay. Yeah, okay, now let him... Am I just gonna turn this on? I that's the only thing I can see to do, really. Oh, and then he sees him. These are the worst police officers what? in the world. Look, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here altogether. Apparently we can't have all three of them on at once. This music's still happening. What? Are you kidding me? I remember this being really hard to figure out. Stupid. Time's up. Even if we block his shot, that'd only buy us a little more time. It doesn't look like we can discourage him from shooting completely. The only way to deal with an evil is to crush it completely. This lady detective is just a little excessive. Guess I'd better rewind again. Uh, after fate change. After fate change, change yeah. Whoop. Okay, so we're here, and that happened. So we turned on that light, okay. There, I think there's a way to drop the wrecking ball on him. It's a trick, yeah, shut the trunk. Wait for the guy with the bobby stick to come back. Super duper fun. I, there's, there's a name for it, and I don't think it's bobby stick, but it's a like billy club or something. Here it comes. A caroling. If I want that position, I've got to be good. <laughs> That's my motto of the month. <laughs> Next year, I'm gonna spread nasty scandalous rumors. <laughs> yeah, so, like, there's something you can do with the lever. I just know it. A few examples lever. Oh, Damn. bird, I don't know about that. I think we need to turn on this light first, still. So. The light on the left is on. So if this the light, one? if the light, no, the light on the left. So if the light on the far left is on, it'll turn off the one we just turned off. So wait for the guy on the left to come back. It's, or, or use the siren.
Hey, did you turn it on? I'm not using the voice again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the first guy just with a slightly bigger chin. <laughs> and bigger nose. Yep. Take him down. I'm gonna examine this again. Nothing happens. Funny, I thought the lever was for swinging the crane arm around. I'd like to swing the horrible hitman. This crane, I wonder if there's some other way we can use it. Come back! Just use the siren again. Back here. Crazy bus. Crazy bus. Because we still haven't explored everything on the left yet, I don't think. So just wait it out. They'll be like, ugh. Would you turn that disrespectful junk off? Okay, possess the light and turn it off. Alright, so yeah, now wait to go back into the middle, then turn the spotlight on, and then we're gonna go over to the left-hand side, and I think there's stuff we can do over there to stop the one-step-ahead Tengo. Yeah, like, look at all this stuff. We can raise the arm, we can open the umbrella, but wait until we've turned... The second spotlight on it, the one in the middle. Alright, so we have to walk all the way back over with the Yeah, we couldn't do it last time because we were out of time. We wasted too much time going back and forth to the van. Ghost trick. Ghost trick. Okay, trip. yeah, so turn it on. Ah! <laughs> I'm the worst police officer in history. <laughs> I don't see anything that's going on. <laughs> Even though I'm walking back and forth in place all the time. Okay, so which one should we use? Uh, so should wait we... first. Wait here until... Jigo. I'm on the umbrella. Yeah, so wait until Jigo actually, like, Spawn. spawns on this side, yeah. Ucha. Hmm, this is quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under the spotlight. Mr. Division Head. <laughs> Fluby Cell! Sizzle! <laughs> wait, hang on a second. What? I'm <laughs> gonna make a save state here. Ooh. Always helpful. Just in case. Okay. So, try raising the cross... Oh, raising... Yeah, raise the crossing gate. Booyah. I'd like to... <laughs> Should I do that or should yes. I the umbrella? Okay. That, there that we takes go. care of that. We're like, what Did you hear that? something? Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me! <laughs> Nobody said it was. There. We found a nice dark spot for our gloom-loving hitman. I think your death has just been erased. Again. Fate averted! Cool. Can we go back? We'll go back. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you could, it could really help me pursue my case. Why only the special few, huh? It's not fair! That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead, why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Sissel, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, Detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it! I was <laughs> kidding. <laughs> well, guess that we'd better be getting back to the present. Whoosh. Also, Sissel has always kind of reminded me of, like, Larry Butts meets Spy Fox. <laughs> he reminds me of, like, Spy Fox meets, um, because I always thought it was, like, Spy Fox. Spy Fox meets Jeremy from Zitz. Maybe. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Maybe it's the look. I love this music. Lynn has escaped death for a second time, but that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. I better go see how she's doing. Oh, oh someone yeah. raised the crane. Oh, did I want to go down there? Well, that's where the phone is. Mannequin. Tire. Tyros are Actually, yummy. I think I have to do that. Tyros are so sweet. 
<laughs> Wait, did that take me anywhere? What the, what the heck? What's the point of using a tire? <laughs> so you don't tire out. Oh, 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 oh. This stupid thing. Hey, Ray. My name's Ray, and I have the pattern. <laughs> I don't know why you folded that again. I thought I had to. No, Ray moved his head. I didn't think Ray would move his head. Well, he did. Well, looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any fervor in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again, she's probably still being detained in the Super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the super's office and see her. Or we could go back to the chicken kitchen. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I can go anywhere I want. Yeah, you can. Well, Let's not see. not the parlor or Lynn's apartment. Like, the phones aren't working. Oh. Trouble man's office. He's, <laughs> he's basically the Duke from Cinderella. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> we can go to the park. <laughs> I could go back and see if the gal's fever's broke. <laughs> you could go back and see how far she is with the Prime Minister's <laughs> love affair. I kind of want to go back. Alright, I mean, you're the one in control. This is like why I never beat games, because I'm like, but I want to see what happens! Looks like the novelist is still taken up with her Prime Minister. The atmosphere is so thick in this room, it's enough to make your eyes hurt. I think I better leave before this air suffocates me. Oh, Mr. Person. <laughs> Mr. Person. Yeah, we can't even go anywhere. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Troubled man. You there? <laughs> Duke from Cinderella, if yeah. he wore red. <laughs> yep. Whole man. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Emma was right. Wait, that's that's a that's weird not accent. The, that's no. not the voice. Maybe it was a mistake I was ever born at all. But wait a minute! If I was never been born, then Amelie wouldn't be here right now. Oh, it's gotten to the point where I don't know what my mistakes were. What defines a mistake, anyway? If something isn't right, does that make it a mistake? I'm out of here. You don't have to be out of here. We can just go around. We can't do anything in here, though. Oh, the Duke's country of the free! <laughs> <laughs> That's the most boring flag ever. It's purple with a yellow border. <laughs> it looks like the um, Rapunzel from uh, Disney. Tangled, you mean? Tangled, yeah. <laughs> the soup was off, it's fine. Meme, da da da. Lynn, you still alive, bro? Bro? I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her fate changed, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? Maybe. Oh, it's at the end of the chapter. It Aww. is. Well, but I wanted to know what was <laughs> happening. Well, we'll know that next time on Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. We will not be changing the language to a different but one. But I wanted to play in French. Too bad. No one will understand that. <laughs> Por favor. <laughs> then we can make funny that's, voices. That's, that's Spanish. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Is it sadder that I didn't correct you? Oh. I, don't, I don't know French either. <laughs> I was looking at the Espanol option, that's why. Oh. Also, I don't know how to say please in French. I don't want to say please in Japanese. <laughs> Anyhow, look forward to next time. We will be talking more with Lynn and probably maybe possibly going to Chick fil We'll see what happens. Until we meet again, yeah, my friends. Seriously, can you go to Chick fil I don't know. Like an hour away, so no. Yeah. Not, not tonight. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.